Hi everyone and welcome to this new video Today I wanted to present you a game I've been playing a lot this past month and it is Stardew Valley It is not a new game I think it was um, well it is from like 2016 I think so it's 4 years old 5 years old now but I've really actually been into it recently and actually bought it this autumn so it's fairly recent and I wanted basically to show you um, my farm in the game what I've been doing so far and all of this knowing that I actually haven't really checked online everything you can do so I'm pretty much discovering the game on my own at least for this very first game I want to learn the game on my own and then I will look at what you can do and all but so far I'm happy with um, how I'm playing the game <laughs> okay so let's start so I'm gonna be showing you my form as I told you um, I've been playing about 40 hours to this game so Depending on who you ask, it is a lot. Oh, it is not a lot. <laughs> anyway, this is me. This is my bedroom. This is my living room. Overall, here yeah, I am transforming um, farm products here mostly. And making some iron balls too, apparently. So, this is my home. Uh, I didn't really decorate it a lot. So it is very much a work in progress So, okay Yeah, right, I should be telling you that I, I'm using mods to modify um, basically how the buildings look and also the colors of the game because, um, yeah, I think the colors that you get without the mods are very much saturated and unnatural and with this mod I get something looking a bit better in my opinion so yeah these are my crops my ducks <laughs> that's new but I have ducks and I given them all of my animals have old French names so this one is Louisette this one is Chantal Women name? I no, they are. Well, my horse actually is a, has a man name. This baby is Claudine. Claudine Mignon. And this is Marguerite. So you yeah, have a couple of <laughs> French names. <laughs> okay, I have my cat. I have Maddie, of course, which is currently on my lap. But she's not purring, she's just sleeping. She, she's just sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you yeah, have my mushroom farm right near my farm and overall I don't want to give you the impression that that game is only like a farming game because it's not if you want to you know how to say you can go fishing you can really focus on the relationships creating a family if you want um, there's something that, that I've done not completely, not 100%, but I've been down the mine and there you can fight different creatures, so this is a bit different and that's basically what I enjoy with this game is that really, you can really create your own story and focus on what you seem fit for you so this is my character, I have my horse named August and this is my skills and a <laughs> fun fact actually I only learned very very recently how to fish because a couple of days ago I didn't know how to fish <laughs> so this is new and and yeah basically I like caught four or five fishes top so far <laughs> it's really new to me uh, yeah I got I went down the mine um, yeah I'm gonna be spoiling a bit game so if you haven't played it yet or if you want to play it it might be best for you to stop the video here and maybe to get 
the game <laughs> but basically I've been down the mine up until level 125 or 20 I think that's the very bottom of the mine and there I got this card key and I don't know yet what it is for but <laughs> there are a lot of secrets in the game and I like that here you have the relationships so I have a girlfriend, her name is Leah She's amazing. She's a, an artist, a sculptor. I have friends too, and other people I want to <laughs> be friends with in the future. And that's what's nice too about that game is that you can really, you know, unlock uh, things to discover and stories depending on who are your friends, who you are close with, and how much they are willing to let you know about their own journey basically. So these are my relationships, here's the map and yeah you can see basically that there are some areas I don't have access to yet. Here I don't know what that is and yeah there are a couple of areas I don't have access to. So there are a lot of other things to discover. I've actually been told that here at the community center basically you have um, things to unlock by giving quality products that you acquired and once you have done all of this you get new areas unlocked so yeah that's really exciting to know that I'm really really far away from being done with the game okay um, what can I be showing you next okay, so this is me on my horse really really cute horse oh wait maybe I should be daily crops out. Here you can see that we are day 22 in the summertime and I think each season is like 28 days if I'm not mistaken and soon it's gonna be autumn. And yeah I just think that that game is really soothing <laughs> in a way. I know I basically I've been playing it a little bit. Oh no okay this is something stupid I do really often is that when I try to get uh, the plants uh, to harvest it sometimes I just misclick and you know I just like destroy a plant for no reason and this happens way too many times but basically I try to play this game for a tiny little bit every day at least when I can't play more because I, I don't know I really like I really enjoy playing it it makes me feel good, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you a couple of quests that I have. Uh, what's that? Okay, so the mayor wants truffle oil. But I haven't found a single truffle yet in the game, I don't know how. And since I don't want to google the question, you know, and get on the wiki and know everything about the game, because so far I think it would ruin the game. So I kind of wait and see <laughs> if some happens to appear at some point or not. But yeah, I'm really playing the game slow so far, for sure. So yeah, I don't know what I wanted to say, I forgot. But yeah, basically it's just a game that I've been playing and that I've really been enjoying. I, yeah, right. Actually, I um, learned about that game. I think it was, yeah, maybe not when it came out in 2016, but really years ago. And it was actually um, through a video, a playthrough by, um, it was the ASMR nerd and Miss Fushi. And I remember discovering the game back then through their video. It seems nice. I'm kind of the kind of person that enjoys that kind of game. And I kind of forgot about this because um, for a couple of years I haven't been really playing much. And now in 2020, or well, last year, actually, I was kind of envious of, you know, everyone, well, so many people having Animal Crossing on Switch and all. And this reminded me that there's this game that exists. <laughs> 
that to me kind of not look like Animal Crossing but I can see similarities between the two although I barely played Animal Crossing so I could be completely wrong, that's possible but basically I thought it would be maybe a, a nice relaxing experience to finally discover the game so I got it, I think it was uh, yeah, in October I played it like once or twice and didn't like it as much at first but then after playing it again and again I really got into it <laughs> and now I really am playing it pretty much every day and what I like is that there are a couple of mysteries as well because basically the story is that you got this farm through your grandfather who passed away I think and that's the beginning of the game and um, I just so discovered this area recently and you can't see it here because it's not you can't read it what you can't read what's written here anymore but it was written something like I will come back at the uh, anniversary third anniversary of your arrival here so in three years after your arrival I will be back <laughs> and I thought it was amazing and lots of mystery you know <laughs> underneath it and so far it's been my second year in the game because the season pass and all and you can see the well the season pass and the year pass and I like that there are so many you know things like that <laughs> lots of secrets and the things to discover in the game it's not quite like Pokemon of course but I can uh, see a similarity with Pokemon as well so yeah basically uh, really been my go to be showing you the mine a bit because it's really different from all of this and yeah really I know that since I haven't really been looking for everything you can do in the game I'm completely missing out on parts of the stories and all but that's why the second game will arrive later on <laughs> okay so here you've got the elevator and you can see it the last um, level is 120 but yeah basically you have different kind of levels and environments here yeah, it's really cold and some are like really dark and warm or wet so it's really different and you can combat the tiny characters you can see so yeah it's basically <laughs> There are so many ways of playing this game really, depending on what you want to focus on, so that's what I enjoy. So yeah, basically. Oh yeah, and there's this person here, which speaks a language I do not understand. And I don't really know, know what to do with this, because like there's a safe here, and maybe the skull key could go there. So I don't really know what to do with that person, so maybe I should offer him a melon. <laughs> but I can't really know if he liked it or not, so let's start. <laughs> so yeah, really it's a game. Actually I checked the price um yesterday or the day before that and it was like 13 euros, so I don't know, maybe 15 dollars I'm um, assuming so it's not expensive at all and for all the fun and all of the time you're gonna be spending playing it if you like that kind of game I think it's definitely worth it and yeah I would really love to you know be able to play with someone because you can play online and have like a farm together you know and I haven't been able to play with anyone yet but I would love So yeah, I can go to the beach too. I told you we can actually fish, but I've been really, really bad at it. I'm gonna show you. But yeah, I really spent like most... Well, I've been playing for like 40 hours, but I guess I, I spent like 38 hours without knowing how to fish at all. So yeah, not that easy. Yeah, I do have my training rod. 
because with the bamboo pole I'm really having an issue catching anything I'm really that bad <laughs> so, oh, I don't know if when there are bubbles it's better or not but I'm gonna hope so so yeah you gotta be quiet with that part the fish is mine And actually, I'm not quick enough to get them because for the longest time I thought that when you had the exclamation mark you had to do something, but I would never do this um, quickly enough. So yeah, I'm even struggling to get a single fish today, so we might be moving on to something else <laughs> soon. I'm just thinking what I could be showing you. Oh yeah, there's another like secret path I could be showing you. I discovered too recently. Oh, and I know that there are other areas of the city I haven't discovered yet, but I know there are more to discover. For example, mm, in the sewage, I think that's how we say um, there was like something. It could be going in and see, or in the sewer, yeah. But I don't have the key, and apparently the mayor has the key, but I didn't know. I didn't get it yet. I, I don't know. I'm a bit close with the mayor, but not that much, I'm guessing. And that's what's interesting too with having, you know, people you are close with in the city. You can actually, um, well, get their backstory and basically it unlocks their um, bedroom and in their bedroom you can find like specific objects and letters and you learn, you learn more about them in the end so it's interesting to know the people better too yeah and that's the area interesting I think so there are a few creatures you can find Okay, but more importantly, there's a big statue. Yeah. 
here, these are to create or, you know, turn vegetables into pickles and fruits into, into jam. And I have cakes too, to place a fruit or a vegetable in here. Eventually it turns into a beverage. Oh, and I have to, yeah, I won't have the time because it's already almost 1 a.m. But I should be checking in the animal buildings too if there are some products. so much this game. I'm really happy with this. Alright, the cows. I didn't look at them yesterday. So what's the name of that one? Violette. This is Violette. And the second one is here. Hello. And that one is Claudette. So I have Claudine, Claudette.
ones for this video because with the other one it would have picked up all of the sounds from the mic oh, no not from the mic from the mouse from the keyboard and from the computer and as this can be a bit noisy I thought I would be working with the different mics but I don't know if it's better you let me know please and I think I've shown you basically everything okay we can, we can go good people if you want. Selling a couple of things here. And I'm gonna keep the rest. Up. Mm. Is there anything I want to buy? I don't think so. Oh, a nice wallpaper. Okay. something some mornings here so yeah I kind of know them but we are not the best friends yet okay good all right guys when I I think I've shown you everything here maybe we can just finish off the day simply Let's 
more times but I would really love to show you how to well now I kind of catch a fish in this game because it yeah, can be interesting oh come on okay okay my horse is here oh, but it's good already right and very soon I'm gonna be able to yeah buy some goats as I told you but money is not here okay because I could have been showing you what I can buy from her so far and it's mostly chickens ducks and cows there are these totems too here and there in the game and I think I of them so far but I don't think that's all of them and once again I don't know what it's gonna be doing once they are all turned on you know maybe I could be getting a bit more wood because I don't think I have a lot left okay let's do a big tree okay I 
actually I'm gonna keep the duck egg because I can here put it in and it will create actually a duck so I'm gonna have one more duck crazy It's all filled, okay. Maybe I could be selling a, a bit of the product I just got. So, cheese and mayonnaise. Good. And organize all my stuff, and that's good for the day. Yeah, we don't have that much wood, so I need to cut more. Basically, I think that's it for this video. I hope it was interesting. I hope you want to play the game now. <laughs> or at least try it, or at least, you know, watch some streams of it to learn more about it if you're into that. And yeah, basically, I hope you enjoyed. Um, once in a while, I do live streams of Stardew Valley. So if that's something you're interested in, well, join. Don't hesitate to join the live stream. And I think that's all I have to say on this topic. So <laughs> thank you for watching.